Hello, and welcome to Clarin Blue, where I share my love of fragrance, body care, and beauty. In this video, I'll be reviewing new Fall Gourmand Body Mist from Victoria's Secret. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. Victoria's Secret continues to release their fall collections, and the next one I have is a line of gourmand leading scents that kind of feel themed around a dessert or cocktail hour. Since this collection hasn't been released online yet, I don't know what the official name is, but I'll update the title once that's available. This hasn't been released in all stores yet either, and I'm not sure what the launch date is. I've already reviewed the Rhinestone Cowgirl collection, and we'll link that in the description box if you want to check it out. And a reminder that if you want to see mini reviews or what's coming up on my channel, you can join me over on Instagram at Blue. There are four new scents in this collection, and I picked up all of the fragrance mists. I think the packaging on this line is just okay. The bottles are two-toned with a gradient, and we have seen similar designs from VS before. And unlike the last couple of collections I've reviewed, this line is confirmed to have matching body lotions, as the store I bought these from did have them. The collection includes Amber Aperitif, described as heady smoked liqueur floats on sparkling Prosecco. Cheers. Berry Brulee, described as juicy red fruit dances around creamy confections. Indulge. Pistachio Creme, described as rich pistachio kisses decadent candied almonds. Delight. And Sugared Petals, described as delicate white flowers adorn golden macarons. Enjoy. And now let's get on to the reviews. The first scent in the collection is Amber Aperitif, which comes in the copper and brown bottle. And this has notes of smoke liqueur, sparkling prosecco, agave nectar, and magnolia musk. And this opens warm and sweet, with a lightly powdery quality. The fragrance notes don't actually list amber, but that's what I get first off. There is a boozy quality, but there's just a hint of the sparkling prosecco, as I'm mostly getting the dark, smoky liqueur. It sort of feels like there's some toasty wood, and there's a nice amount of syrupy sweetness as well. To me, this is a smoky, boozy, ambery scent, and I think it's okay, but I do wish there was a bit less smokiness. And for comparisons, first I have Victoria's Secret's Vanilla Amber Bourbon, with notes of vanilla amber, smooth bourbon, and orchid petals. And this is a warm, ambery floral with touches of vanilla and bourbon. It has a nice caramelized vanilla sweetness and a touch of powderiness, and is warm and sweet. The floral is soft, and there is a bit of booziness that doesn't feel smoky, but has a hint of woods, as well as a caramel-like quality. While these share the amber and a liqueur note, vanilla amber bourbon is a little sweeter, as well as warmer, smoother, and more ambery, whereas amber aperitif is more boozy and smoky. Next is Victoria's Secret Star Smoked Amber, which has notes of amber dahlia, marshmallow musk, and crackling cedar. And this is a warm, woody scent with a soft floral, and it has a toasted marshmallow feel with a hint of burning wood. These are both amber scents with a toasted quality, but Star Smoked Amber is much sweeter due to the marshmallow, while Amber Aperitif is boozy. Then I have Bath & Body Works Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, with notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. And this is a warm vanilla with hints of fruit and a slightly syrupy boozy note. It doesn't feel overly alcoholic, as the bourbon and vanilla liqueur feel more syrupy and a bit woody, as well as being very vanillic. It has a dark quality and a soft, creamy vanilla sweetness with a bit of a toasted feel. These both have liqueur and share a similar warm, toasted, woody quality. But Cozy Vanilla Bourbon sweetness is more vanillic and it has the touch of fruitiness, while Amber Aperitif is more ambery. The next scent in the collection is Berry Brulee, which comes in the red and purple bottle. And this has notes of juicy red fruit, shaved chocolate, and jasmine petals. And this opens with the juicy fruit, which feels like a mix of berries, with maybe a touch of cherry. The jasmine is surprisingly strong, and it overwhelmed the fruit for a while. It took a little while for me to get the chocolate, and I can't say it's very prominent. It feels like a dry, dark chocolate, and it's not adding a ton of sweetness. To me, this is actually a fruity floral with a hint of chocolatey sweetness. The fruit stays very present as it dries, and it does get a bit sweeter as the floral softens, so I pick up on the chocolate more over time. I think the scent is okay, but I was struggling to get a clear picture of it because shortly after I applied it, I felt like it became very faint. And for comps, first I have Victoria's Secret Frost Melt, which has notes of fresh mint and hot chocolate, along with whipped pistachio and tonka. It's a creamy, powdery chocolate scent with a bit of nuttiness and a touch of mint. 
It feels like hot chocolate mix and peppermint combined and reminds me of Thin Mints. And the Tonka adds a whipped vanilla sweetness. The mint is very soft and the scent overall is more gourmand. I don't have a lot of scents with chocolate and Frost Melt is sweeter with more noticeable chocolate, but also of course has the added mint. Berry Brulee is softer and has the fruit and floral notes. Next is Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Cashmere with notes of whipped meringue and decadent berries. And to me, this is candied berries topped with sugary whipped cream with a bit of an airy quality as well. The berries feel like raspberry with maybe a touch of strawberry and have a sugary candied feel to them. The meringue adds a creamy, lightly vanilla sweetness and like many Pure Seduction flankers, this has a fruity candy or punch type of feel. These are both fruity berry scents with a sweet gourmand note, but Pure Seduction Cashmere is more sugary sweet, while Berry Brulee has the added floral and subtle chocolate. Then I have Victoria's Secret Tease Coco Soiree from their perfume line, which has notes of lush wild berry, freesia petals, and whipped mocha. And this is a fruity floral scent with mocha and fluffy vanilla cream. It has sweet, juicy berries that feel closest to raspberry, as well as a strong, heady freesia. The mocha has a soft chocolatey quality, and the cream gives it an airy vanilla sweetness. These both have berries and chocolate combined with a floral, and there is a bit of a similar feeling. But Tease Coco Soiree is stronger and sweeter, and I do prefer it. However, that is discontinued, so if you missed out on it, you could try Berry Brulee. But if you can find Tease Coco Soiree anywhere, I think that's a better option. The next scent in the collection is Pistachio Creme, which comes in the pink and green bottle. And this has notes of rich pistachio, candied almonds, vanilla glaze, and solar musk. And this opens very sweet and nutty. The pistachio and almond are both discernible, and the almond does have a candied feel. The vanilla adds even more sugary, syrupy sweetness, and the scent has a sort of warm, yet slightly bright quality to it. We have been showered with pistachio scents in the last year, and this one is very sweet and creamy and gourmand. The vanilla is most prominent though, and feels as described, like a glaze or icing, but the pistachio and almond stay present as well. I'm not sure what the musk is adding, but I think this is really nice, and sure to be a crowd pleaser. I have a lot of comps for this one, and first I have Victoria's Secret Frost Melt again, which has notes of fresh mint, hot chocolate, whipped pistachio, and tonka. These are, of course, very different due to the chocolate and mint, but when you smell them side by side, the pistachio does have a similar feel. They're both quite sweet with their gourmand vanilla quality, but pistachio creme is sweeter to me. Next is Sunset Gelato from VS Pink, with notes of pistachio gelato, caramel drizzle, and sea salt. And this is a cool and nutty scent with noticeable pistachio and a touch of coconut, but also has a creamy sweetness with just a sprinkle of salt. It's really sweet and feels gourmand, and the caramel comes out more as it dries. These are both gourmand scents with pistachio, but Sunset Gelato has the heavy caramel and coconut, while pistachio creme has the vanilla and almond. I really like them both, and it's just a matter of what kind of sweetness you want with your pistachio. I think Sunset Gelato feels sweeter and stronger, and pistachio creme feels softer and maybe more wearable. Then I have Bath & Body Works Sweetheart Cherry, which has notes of wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and whipped vanilla. And this has a nice juicy cherry that feels syrupy and sort of candied, like a darker, boozier version of a maraschino cherry. The pistachio is nutty but not overbearing, and the vanilla adds a creamy sweetness. These share the pistachio and vanilla, but Sweetheart Cherry obviously has the prominent cherry, so it's very fruity, while pistachio creme is more nutty and has a creamy versus candy-like sweetness. So I don't think that these are too similar. Next, I have Bath & Body Works Vacation Vibe, with notes of whipped pistachio, sun-drenched jasmine, and praline amber. And this is an ambery floral with nutty pistachio and sweet praline. It leans gourmand, but the floral is a noticeable part of the scent. These both have pistachio and a gourmand sweetness, but the praline in Vacation Vibe is warmer than the vanilla and pistachio creme, which is overall sweeter and nuttier and doesn't have any floral notes. And lastly, I have Sol de Janeiro Trosa 62, and I have an older bottle with the original name of Brazilian Crush, but it is Trosa 62. And this has notes of pistachio, almond, heliotrope, jasmine, vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. And this is a delicious gourmand with a soft floral, sweet caramel, and a nutty quality that is more heavily pistachio than almond. The vanilla adds additional sweetness, and there's also a little salt and woodiness that gives it a beachy feel. These share the pistachio, almond, and vanilla, and are both very sweet and nutty but I feel like the pistachio is a bit stronger in Trosa 62, and it also has the floral and darker sticky sweet caramel, whereas pistachio creme is more almondy and the creamy vanilla is more prominent. Trosa 62 is also much stronger overall. 
I'm not sure if Victoria's Secret was trying to dupe Sol de Janeiro, but these do have a similar feel. And although they are the most similar, they're not exactly the same. If you don't want to pay the higher price for Trosa 62, you'll probably be happy with Pistachio Creme. I feel like Pistachio Creme is lighter and airier, and so won't be as cloying as Trosa 62 in the warmer months. And the last scent in the collection is Sugared Petals, which comes in a yellow and pink bottle. And this has notes of white flowers, sweet macarons, and shimmering woods. And this opens with a macaron note, which is sweet and sugary. It feels like a vanilla cookie or cake. And if you're not familiar with macarons, they're really light French sandwich cookies made of meringue. There's a very soft floral note that you kind of have to look for, and I definitely pick up on the wittiness. The scent has sort of a toasted quality, and to me it's sweet and gourmand, but not in a super sugary way. This is more subtle, but as it dries, it does sweeten, and I get sort of a vanilla cream or icing-like quality from it, kind of like the filling of the macaron. And for comps, first I have Pink Macaron from VS Pink, with notes of Macaron Accord and Juicy Cranberry. And this is bright and a bit sharp, and the cranberry has a sparkling quality, kind of like a bubbly drink. The macaron note is sweet, but not overly sugary, and it has an airy quality, like the cookie. It's not super gourmand, but it is a nice sparkling fruity scent with a light macaron note. These both have macaron, but pink macaron is actually more fruity, and I find sugared petals to be sweeter and more gourmand. Next is VS Pink Candy Hearts, which has notes of raspberry macaron, sugared praline, and silk PJs. And this is a really sweet scent with prominent raspberry, followed by the praline. It has a sweet gourmand quality, but the macaron is subtle and feels sort of powdery and more candy-like than cookies. These share the macaron, but Candy Hearts is more fruity and candy sweet, while Sugared Petals has a softer, more baked goods sort of sweetness. And finally, I have Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Golden, with notes of sugared tonka, orchid blossom, and warm sandalwood. And this is a rich, sweet vanilla with a very sugary feel. It also has a hint of spiciness, and the orchid brings in a soft floral note that brightens the scent, while the sandalwood adds a woody warmth. And this one might seem sort of random, but when I smelled sugared petals, it reminded me a bit of Bare Vanilla Golden. They have wildly different notes, but the combo of floral and vanilla sweetness feels similar, only it's much deeper and more woody in Bare Vanilla Golden, and more gourmand and airy and sugared petals. They are definitely not dupes at all, I just wanted to offer a scent without a macaron note as a reference point. Overall, I do like this collection. I didn't dislike any of the scents, and there are a couple that I really enjoy. If I had to rank these, there are two scents in the bottom and two on top. In the bottom would be Amber Aperitif. I like the warm, powdery booziness, but it's smokier than I'd prefer, and I'm not sure how much I'll reach for it. I feel like there are better ambery scents from Victoria's Secret, such as the comps that I showed. Also in the bottom is Berry Brulee, partly because the chocolate isn't strong enough, but mostly because it's just so weak. The scent has potential, but I felt like I could barely smell it, and what I could pick up faded pretty quickly. And in the top two is Sugared Petals. This one surprised me as I haven't really loved any of the other macaron scents from VS. I think the combination of the floral and sweet cookie note is really nice, and it has an overall yummy sweetness. And that of course leaves Pistachio Creme, which is my favorite in the line. This is the sweetest of the bunch, and I love the mix of pistachio, candied almond, and sugary vanilla. It's not the most pistachio heavy scent that I've tried, but it smells delicious. As far as strength, as I mentioned, Berry Brulee was the weakest, and the other three were about the same. The last two felt a bit stronger, but I also liked them more, so I may have been a bit heavier handed on the reapplication. I am so glad that this line has matching lotion so I can layer these, and I will definitely be picking up some of those, as well as backups of Sugared Petals and Pistachio Creme Bis, next time VS has a good sale. So that's it for my review of the new Fall Gourmand Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to give any of them a try. Thank you for watching, I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video!